השבוע ערכתי שיחה מעניינת עם אני לעלי, אמריקאית ממוצא פקיסטני, שהגיעה לישראל והחליטה לצאת באופן ברור ומובהק כנגד מתקוות של טרור וגם של חמאס, ארגון הטרור בפרט. בואו נראה את הרעיון. So, Anila, please tell me, I know that you're visiting right now Israel. Why was it so important to you to come and visit here, especially at this time? First of all, I want to convey my solidarity with all the women of Israel. I know that you're hurting, that the world is not standing with you, but that's precisely the reason why South Asian American women who are Muslim are here to stand with you and tell you that what happened to you should never have happened. And I'm sorry that we did not get out there on the streets and scream and shout that this is violence against women and we cannot be selective about it. You said that Hamas mm -hmm. stole Islam from us, from Muslims, uh, that it's uh, using Islam to incite and basically to create Islamophobia. Why did you say that? You know, this is not something new. We said this after 9-11. The day the country that we loved was attacked by terrorists, we said the same thing. Terrorism is not Islam 23 years ago, and we are here to say that again. But what is happening is that just today in my birth country, Pakistan, there was an attack by terrorists, it killed people. That is not catching the attention of the world. Just because we're against terrorism, we're against the fact that our religion is being used by terrorists, does not mean that we are not sad for the Palestinian lives that are being lost. We are sad about the whole situation that our religion has been misinterpreted, has been abused, has been stolen, and we are here to take it back, just like we were after 9-11. I have seen that in play, religious freedom in Israel is beautiful. I mean, just the fact that I'm standing here in Haifa, um, and, you know, this is, this is the Baha'i center of faith, and then we have a lot of other uh, minority communities. They all live here, and they are not afraid to practice their religion, but I can tell you, in, in my own country, America, uh, it has been really hard to stand with the women of Israel, to stand with Israel and say what happened to you on October 7th, it's, it's barbaric, it is gruesome. There is something wrong with our collective consciousness. Is it because we just have demonized Israel so much that we have no human feelings left for them? Is it that we uh, have forgotten uh, in our own victimhood, I say that as a Muslim, that we are the victims? We are not the victims. We should be empowering each other, especially the Palestinian community, and telling them Gaza could have been Dubai for you. Your people have been stealing the money that was owed to you. This is what they did to you. They're hiding in the tunnels while you have to face the consequences of terrorism. That's what we want to tell the world. Hamas does not represent us, and will this kind of terrorism will never represent us. So, uh, Anila, explain to me, because, you know, you're a Muslim woman, I'm a Muslim woman. What the young generation, the Muslim young generation, the people who are living in the United States, in Europe, what do they don't understand about the current situation? Or maybe, let's be very honest, maybe this is just pure anti-Semitism. I have believed that a lot of anti-Israeli sentiment that we've seen, especially in the United States, which is where I live, on campuses where I've worked for more than 20 years, a lot of anti-Israeli sentiment has been used by certain organizations that we refuse to designate as terrorist organizations in, in America, have used our children at the campuses in public schools to make them hate Israel to the point where they are not able to see the Israelis, to see, hum uh, to see them as human beings. I have talked to so many young people. The moment we bring them here to Israel and they meet Israelis or we take them for Shabbat, 
they suddenly realize, oh yes, you know, there is another way. There's a better way to end, you know, to help the Palestinians. It is called peace. Why is peace a no-brainer? Why are children and young people on our campuses getting out there and shouting out river to sea? Because they have been fed this victimhood for years and years and years. And we need to get out there and re-educate them. I told the young people, I said, do you know that river to sea means that you, you want all the Jewish people to die that are in that region? And they said, yes, they have oppressed their apartheid country. So I said, how are they apartheid? Have you been there? I, I said this to the Palestinian kids that I talked to. I said, have you been there? Because you know what? I see more religious freedom there than I do in my own Muslim countries. Wow. And then they don't have anything to answer because they have not been given the entire picture. Were you really surprised about the hypocrisy of women, uh, you know, uh, women rights organizations that uh, were silent, that didn't condemn? Were we actually surprised by this hypocrisy? We stand against this hypocrisy. It is not okay. You know, as a woman and as a mother, I say, that if you are unable to cry for the child of the other, as much as you would cry for your, for your own child, then you have failed humanity. I'm being targeted. I'm being called Muslim Zionists, Pakistani Zionists, because I'm a woman. Well, I can tell you that that inspires me and motivates me to do more, because I never want this to happen to my daughter. Anila, I want to tell you, as a journalist, as a Muslim woman, as a Muslim mother, I'm so proud to share Islam with women like you. This is so much appreciated by me and by so many other people. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.